Well done, boys. Brilliant stuff. That was their last recognized batsman. We've definitely now done enough, because that was their last recognized batsman. We've got one or two more to get to give the whole thing some finality, but the result is now as good as set. It's nothing more than a formality. Our opponents now are on their last legs. The batters are all out. Now we're on to the dregs. Prepare for abject surrender from every single tailender. Well, boys, we've played brilliantly. We've done just what we set out to do. Now just watch, I guarantee they'll be gone in an over or two. Okay, 15 overs have passed. This game's trickier than it appears. These tailenders are scoring quite fast, and my leggies just burst into tears. But it's not a total disaster. It's not like we're on the Titanic. We just need to bowl a bit faster, field well, and mainly not panic. But this team's in quite creative hands. It's time for one of my more imaginative plans. Put a third leg slip in play and get points to face the wrong way. It's not what every captain would do, but I'll get him eventually. And if it's not worked in an hour or two, then I'll come up with plan B. Well, this is ridiculous now. It is getting beyond a joke. Every over they're taking a bow, cause a different world record got broke. Now he's laughing cause he's got his hundred. I was told he's an absolute bunny. It's bad enough when your bowlers get plundered, but must the batting side find it so funny? I think of things I wish I was doing instead, like dental work or being dead. This partnership's awful duration is more like a hostage situation. The despair that this moment inspires. It's been two hours since the last wicket. I so hate the batsmen and the umpires, but most of all, God, I hate cricket.